What's up guys, it's me Sean here with some C Sharp tutorial here today. And today we're going to learn how to put music into your program. So let's get started. So the first thing we have to do here is we have to create our new project. So if you would, you would have to choose Windows Forms application. So let's change this name to something different. So add music or something like that. But there's a one thing you have to watch out for. Uh, what you have to do is you have to know where you're saving this project into. So for example, I'm saving my project under this address here, or directory, and it's under c -sharp project. So make sure to you remember this path, or if you don't, you can just choose the different path by going into browse, and then choose different area to save. But anyway, I'm going to save my project into here so I can click OK. And once you hit OK, if you wait a little bit here, you will see your program. And there it is, there's our program. So uh, the before we even begin, what we want to do is we want to put our music into our um, the path that we remembered. So here I have a I have this MP3 file set up here, and it's called it's called Music MP3. So what I want to do is I want to go into that path that I defined last time. So there's our project. So if you would just double click that until you see these three folders. So out of these three folders, what you want to click is you want to click this bin. And if you do, you will see debug here. And if you go into debug, you'll end up with this place. And that's where we want to put our music into. So let's copy and paste our music there. And now our music is in the debug folder, right? So now we're almost ready to just start. So let's go back to our Visual Studio. And what you want to do is you want to go into our toolbox on the left and you want to double click on the toolbox here just anything and make sure you hit choose items option and if you do you will see these bunch of tabs here and what we want to do is we want to click the com components tab so if you would just click that there and you want to scroll all the way down until you see Windows Media Player. So mine is already checked, but if it's not, please go ahead and check that and then hit OK. And since mine is already checked, I'm not gonna hit OK, but if you would, please hit OK. So uh, if you hit OK here, what you will notice is you will see this new tool called Windows Media Player. So if we drag this and then drop it in here, notice uh, there will be our Windows Media Player but we don't need this we want to put music into our program so it's whenever the program starts I want the music to start automatically too so what we can do is we can double click the form to create our form one load method and here's where we can code some stuff so first thing we have to do is we have to go to our import area or using area and we're going to import some stuff and it's called WMP library so it stands for Windows Media Player library so we want to import that by saying using and that with semicolon and after that you're gonna go down to this main uh, class here and on top of public form one uh, method you're going to define an object called windows whoa windows media player okay that is now that is our object and let's name it something like player equals new windows media player S parentheses semicolon okay so now that we created our object 
we have to give give it a address of our uh, music file. So what we want to do is we want to go down to our public form one, and under the initialization component thing, we're going to initialize our um, player with the name of the music file that we want to play. So let's say player dot URL equals uh, you have to give it a string value that contains the name of the music file. So for example I wanted to put music file called music mp3 dot mp3 right so I'm going to set that to our players uh, URL and now it's time to play it whenever the program is loaded so we go down to this form one dash load method and what we're going to do is we're just going to say player dot controls dot play just like that and if you do it will play the music automatically whenever you start the program so let's test this out by hitting start Okay, it seems like it works. Okay, so now that we know how to play it, let's make it stop. So what we can do is we can add a tool box here. And let's go to the top, find this button uh, tool. And we're going to drag and drop into our form. And let's create a method. So whenever the button 1 is clicked, we're going to do something here. but I wanted to stop the music. So what we can do is we can say player dot controls dot stop. Or you can do pause too if you want to. But yeah, that's how you stop the music. So let's test this out. the music stops so you can modify this program to do a lot of stuff for example you can put background music into your uh, program and it's very useful so yeah that's it for this tutorial here today uh, so if you guys have any other question please leave questions on the comment below and please subscribe for more future tutorials thanks